Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And this is a short one today because it's not a big piece of news that I can really sink my teeth in too much. All that I can do is share my excitement for this because I'm a huge fan of this actor and that actor is Ron Perlman. I saw actually yesterday from Collider that they got the exclusive that Ron Perlman was going to be voicing Optimus Primal, which is pretty awesome because we're still a year away from this movie. And of course they made the announcement that Peter Cullen is going to be returning as Optimus Prime. But uh, I wasn't expecting any other casting news for voices for a while because I think some of the other movies, they would announce the casting like a few months or like three to four months before the movie comes out. Um, that's usually how they, you know, stretch this stuff out. So I'm sure we'll still get announcements later and they'll, you know, they'll kind of pepper their news out throughout the whole year to kind of keep the hype train going for this movie. But, uh, but to drop this so soon after the initial news is awesome and I, i'm honestly a big big fan of ron perlman obviously beauty and the beast uh, you know the tv show like he was great in that and i, I went on to love him in Ch city of lost children which is a fantastic movie if you've never seen it it's in my top 10 favorite movies of all time it's really really awesome and weird <laughs> but he's really great in it and then the blade movie uh the second one uh you know that's actually guillermo del toro cast Ron Perlman in that and he says jokingly in the audio commentary uh, that Guillermo del Toro says yeah I feel like I'm Ron Perlman's agent anytime I can I will cast that guy so um so that's yeah I'm a big fan of Ron Perlman and I, I love his stuff and I love seeing him show up and stuff Sons of Anarchy other shows that he's been on and movies that he's been in the guy is amazing and he's got a great voice and he's done a lot of like animated stuff before DC animated stuff and and it's just the guy is it's so talented and when I heard that he was going to be playing this like I immediately got it like pumped like it was so pumped like I worked with a I work with a young lady um, who is a big BTS fan and anytime BTS drops news she freaks out over it and I don't know if I matched her excitement uh, with her BTS love but I certainly was very excited when I got this news um, because I was at work and I was having lunch when I saw the post and I was just so happy and then I started thinking how big will Optimus Prime will be because a lot of times what movies do they like to, you know, you know, ape, you know, excuse the pun, but they like to ape from other movies. Uh, so, you know, if like someone's, a, you know, after Iron Man, you started seeing more movies where people got into like iron suits, you know, and that's producers coming in going, hey, our movie needs some of this. People like this. Test markets show this. And they'll come in with these dumb ideas uh, and they'll say like, hey, that movie did it. We should do it. And I started thinking that way. I was like, you know. They're already adding like the Incan, you know, history of man tying into this like, again, which is something they already did in the five Michael Bay movies. And I don't like that. It was like beyond the first maybe one or two movies, it got old. I was just like, come on, stop, like stop with the Transformers helping mankind excel at stuff. Like why can't mankind just excel at stuff? <laughs> you know how producers are. They always add in things that gets ridiculous at times. And I was starting to think, I was like, you know, let's put my, my mind into the mindset of a producer. Um, why bring Optimus Primal into this other than just doing something a little different from the previous movies? Like, why else do it? Um, and I thought, oh, well, King Kong vs. Godzilla. <laughs> like, obviously, that's like, you know, legendary and everyone and everyone who works on those, like trying to build a shared universe. And it's, you know, they're I don't know. They're not very interesting movies to me, but I know they have a big fan base. So I'm thinking, oh, this is probably a producer going, you know what we need in our movie? A giant gorilla like King Kong. And then I'm like, well, there you go. Like, who knows? So maybe Optimus Primal will be enormous. So let me know what you think. Are you a big Ron Perlman fan like I am? Like, I love the guy. I think he's awesome. I think he's got a great voice and he definitely has a commanding voice. And that's great for a leader. And I think that's also good for someone who's going to have to act opposite of Peter Cullen who to me has the ultimate leader voice in Optimus Prime. Like that is one of the best animated voices of all time next to Goliath played by Keith David on Gargoyles and Spawn obviously plays Spawn too. And then Kevin Conroy as Batman. Like uh, those to me are like just three of the most iconic, you know, strong male voices that we've gotten over the years in animation. And I'm um, so putting Ron Perlman up there makes a lot of sense. The guy is so talented. So again, let me know what you think of this news down below. I'd love to hear that from you uh, Transformer fans out there. And for those of you who may not be Transformer fans who just came across this video, like, you know, are you a Ron Perlman fan? Um, or is this something, this movie, Rise of the Beast, something that might get you interested in checking out Transformers stuff? Um, I'm not a big fan of the current Netflix series, but, uh, but I know a lot of people are. So there is stuff out there that has Transformer stuff in it and that will introduce you to 
characters like Optimus Primal and the other Maximals and the, their villains, the Predacons, uh, there is going to be more of that in the current Netflix show when season three drops. So make sure, you know, if you want to check out and know more about these characters, you can definitely ask me in the comments down below, or you can go check out the Netflix series and, uh, and watch all three seasons of that. And that'll be a good precursor probably for this new Rise of the Beast movie. So thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you all in the future. Peace.